reach up top overhead, control it down. Elbows nice and tight. I don't want you guys flared out here. Tight elbows and let's control these lunges. Let's go right leg first. Keep this up. Good, last two. That's it. Kettlebells in front, Oof. right up to the shoulders. Dip, Oof. front rack, eight reps. Woo, catch that breath one more time, guys. We got this 10 seconds on the clock. What is up, YouTube? Today we have a full body kettlebell strength workout for you guys. We're also gonna be adding some conditioning there as well, so you guys are gonna be needing heavy, medium, and light kettlebells today. So grab everything you got, and again, you can use dumbbells if you need to. Let's get right into this workout, and let's go. All right, everybody, we're gonna start with our warm up. We're starting with our cat cows. I want you on your hands and knees. We're gonna slowly arch that back and round that back. I just wanna go through a three minute warm up here just to get you guys ready to rock and then we'll get right into this kettlebell workout. So again, when we're doing these cat cows, I want you to slowly see if you can climb from the lower portion of your back all the way up into that upper portion as you go through that entire motion. We're gonna do this for about another 30 seconds. So slowly round that back from the bottom, climbing through the top of that spine. And again, when you come back down, climb from the bottom and get up into that arch in your back, that nice spinal extension, and try to find some spots that feel good. If it feels good to stay in that round, stay there for a couple seconds. And if it feels good to stay in that extension, just give yourself a couple seconds down there and let's keep moving. You got 10 more seconds on this. And then we're just gonna open up that mid back and we're gonna do some uh, thoracic spine rotation. So last few seconds here, we're gonna take that left hand behind the head now and we're gonna get right into our T-spine rotation. So left hand behind the head, stay in that same hands and knees position here. And just open up that upper back and rib cage, get a couple good rotations in. Feel like you're really turning, pushing that hand through the floor and opening up that chest and that rib cage and that mid back. So we're gonna go about 30 seconds each side. Let's get a couple more reps in, and then we'll go on to that right one. Good. Last few seconds, and then we'll transition right into that right side. And good, let's bring it to the right. So right hand behind the head, down underneath, and then up towards that ceiling, and get a feel for which side feels a little tighter or a little bit more restricted. And you guys can work on this on your own. If you feel like one side's a little tighter, spend some more time on it on your recovery days or on your cool downs after your workouts. So you got your last few seconds on this right side, and then we're just gonna open up those hips in a couple seconds here. We're gonna get into our 90-90 position on the floor. So last rep, and perfect, good. Now, let's get on the ground. We're gonna get into our 90-90. So right here on the floor, we have our 90-90 position, one leg in front 90 degrees, one leg behind. All I want you to do is upper back nice and tall, and hinge into this front leg. You'll get a nice stretch on that glute. Hold that for a couple seconds. Take a couple breaths. You could have your hands on the outside of you and just lean into that. Get that nice stretch on that glute. Feel that just for a couple seconds. And then we're gonna rotate back the other way. So now I'm gonna sit up tall. I'm gonna keep my feet where they are and try to flip flop those hips to the opposite side. Now again, I'm in my 90-90 on the opposite direction. Chest up tall and hinge forward into that glute. Just give it a couple seconds. We'll breathe here for a little bit and then we're gonna do a few rotations just going back and forth just to get those hips feeling good and opened up. So put your hands behind your back now and just give me a few reps. Alternate to the left and then alternate to the right. Just get those hips feeling good. You can be very light with the hands. We're not trying to push mobility here. Just trying to get you guys warmed up. So last few seconds, give me one more rep going the other way. And good, we're ready to rock. Let's grab those kettlebells and let's go. Okay guys, we're getting into our first circuit. We're gonna be going kettlebell deadlifts for eight reps, and then we're gonna be going bottoms up kettlebell overhead press. So we're gonna be doing eight on each. Today we're trying to progressively overload those weights every single set. So we're gonna to try to increase weight if we can set by set. So let's start with our first set here. We're gonna go right to my 60 for me. You guys pick whatever you guys want in your kettlebell deadlift position and let's get ready to go. Again, hinging over at the hips, grabbing that weight, eight reps. Ready? Let's do this thing. Stand up strong, reach down to the ground, tap and come up. We're going eight straight reps and then we're gonna get right into our bottoms up overhead presses. And then we're gonna take about 45 to 60 seconds of rest between these sets. Good, last few reps, and then you guys are gonna get on the ground and we'll get into these kettlebell presses. Last one, stand up strong, and good. Put that kettlebell down. Now, 
grab yourself a light kettlebell to start with this, all right? Bottoms up presses are tough, very unstable on that shoulder. We're gonna be in a half kneeling position. So right knee down, same arm is gonna press. So right knee down, right arm presses. Holding that kettlebell bottoms up and you're going for eight reps, reaching overhead, controlling it down. That bottoms up position is not easy. So really take your time. We're not trying to rush these. We're trying to build some good strength and stability in that shoulder and in that overhead position. Good. Tight core here. Bring it up. Perfect. You guys got a couple more reps. And then we're going to rest. And then we're going to go to that left side. Last few. Good. Get that up overhead. Give me one more good one. Good. Control it down. Let's switch legs and switch arms. If you guys are using dumbbells, you can hold the bottom of the dumbbell and flip it up straight. If you guys want to add that instability. If not, you guys just grab that dumbbell. Give me an overhead press. Good. Reach up top overhead. Control it down. Really try to get that full overhead range or whatever you guys can handle and drive that weight up. Good, you guys got three more here. Control that weight, drive it. Good, last two. Really working that wrist as well. And good, bring it down, nice. So we're gonna take about 45 seconds of rest. You got that first set in, you got a feel for it. Now we can increase that weight. So my second set, I'm jumping to an 80 pounder from my 60. So I'm gonna grab that 80. I'm gonna swing it around, and if you guys have other kettlebells, if you don't have single heavy ones, grab two that are gonna increase the weight. So you can grab 235s, you can grab 225s, whatever you have at home, grab them and let's use them. You still got about 20, 30 seconds of rest, and then we'll get right into this next set. Let's talk about those deadlifts before we start. Again, make sure it's a little bend in those knees, hinging the hips, and as you go down, that chest is gonna come down, those knees will bend slightly more. You're gonna be in that good deadlift hinge position. So, let's get right into this, guys. Nice and tall, let's reach for it. In three, two, one, let's go. Stand up strong, eight reps. Tap, come up, brace that core. Three, good. Tap, come up, four, good. Control that weight, up and strong, five, come on. Down and go, six, getting some good weight in your hand now, seven, one more, tap it, and down. Very good. So we got that 80 moving well, if you guys increase weight, good job. Now we're gonna do the same thing on that overhead press. Increase weight if you felt comfortable with it, if not, stay where you were at before in the last set. Let's do it, right arm, three, two, give me eight reps, all the way overhead, control it down. Good, that's it, two. Gonna feel like that weight gets really unstable at the top, it's not easy. Gotta really control it, keep a strong grip. Good, you got three left. Drive it overhead, control it down. Good, last few reps. Good, get it up overhead, last one. Big drive up and control it down. Good, let's go to that left arm. Same thing, let's switch those legs and then we'll get right into that left side. Here we go, left hand's holding it, tight core, brace it, go for it, eight reps, one. Under control, two, shouldn't be speeding through these. Three, come on, down and go. That's it, guys are right there. Come on, halfway through this set. We got three left in the tank here and then we'll get another good minute rest. Last two, good, one more, and perfect. Bring that weight down. Got you guys on the clock for a nice minute. We got one more set here with these two exercises. Again, increase weight if you felt comfortable. I'm gonna keep my weight at 35 on that overhead press and we're gonna climb up. I got a big boy here. We got 100 pounds on that deadlift for that last set. So, a couple seconds here to breathe. You still got about 30 seconds and we'll get into this last set. When you guys are building strength, it's important to rest. You wanna make sure you're really calming down. Even sit down if you need to. We're not trying to speed through this and get too much of a sweat going here. We're trying to really build strength. We're not trying to just beat you up in those first 15 minutes of this workout. So, still got about 15 seconds. Calm that breath down. Let's get some good weight in our hand and let's get ready to go. If you guys are still working with your dumbbells as well, Grab two dumbbells, grab one between the legs, whatever you got at home. Here we go, last set, eight reps. We're starting in three, two, get yourself set. Let's go, eight reps, stand up tall. Tap that ground, good, two, three. Exhale at the top, inhale again. Brace that core and go, good. Tap, come up strong. Last few reps and we'll finish with those presses. Good, last one, control it down and good. Put that weight down. Get it out of the way. Now let's get into that overhead press. Last set here, guys. Right knee down, right arm. Let's do it. Bottoms up position. Nice brace core. Go ahead, eight reps, one. Come on, control that kettlebell. 
Not easy in that bottoms up position. We know that already. We're in our third set. We're working hard. Come on. That's it. Get it up overhead. Nice and strong. Big drive. Good. That's it, guys. Last few reps. Come on. Then we'll go to that left side and finish this set, and we'll get a good rest. One more. And good. Put that down. Switch legs. Last one. Come on. Give me some good effort on this left arm now. Opposite side. Nice tight core. Go for it. One. Down and drive it. Two. That's it. Come on. Four. Stay with me. Come on. Five. Finish this set. Last few reps. Six. Come on. Get it up there. That's it. One more good one. Control that weight. And very good. Down. All right. Awesome work in that set. You guys are going to get another 45 to 60 seconds of rest, and we'll get into our second circuit here. Okay, guys, getting into our next set here, we're going two exercises again. We're going dual kettlebell front rack, reverse lunges. We're gonna go eight reps on each shot. Then we're gonna bring this with those same kettlebells, or if you have to change the weight, dual kettlebell bent over row. But every rep, we're gonna put those weights completely on the ground and then rip them from the bottom, all right? So eight on each leg and eight bent over rows. Grab your kettlebells, let's get right into this thing. So weights at the chest, let's get them in that tough front rack position, elbows nice and tight. I don't want you guys flare it out here. Tight elbows and let's control these lunges. Let's go right leg first, eight reps. Nice and controlled, we're going eight on each side. Let's focus up, keep a nice strong front rack position, and don't let those elbows and kettlebells flare out. We're tight here. Good. That's it. Fire it up, right leg going back or left leg, whatever you guys are doing here. Last rep, and then we'll get right into that opposite side. Good. Let's switch it up. Same thing. Eight strong reps. All the way back, tap that knee if you can, and go. That's it. Keep controlling those kettlebells. It's gonna be a tough front rack position. It's a challenging area to hold those kettlebells. A lot of weight on your upper back, challenging that upper body as we hit these lunges. Last rep, and good. Let's put those kettlebells down right in front of you. Now, we're gonna be in that bent over position. Hinged over with those weights, we're gonna row. Weights go on the ground. Ready, let's do this. So upper back nice and tight. Row it, put them down, row it. Put them down, I want you to pause on every rep. Eight reps, good, squeeze that back. That's it, come on, keep that back slightly extended. Good, control those weights and rip them. You got your last two. One more, and down, good. Let's rest, again, we're taking that 45 seconds to a minute, and we'll get right into that second set. I'm staying with these 35 pounds here, okay? You guys can increase weight. Do it right now, and we'll get into that next sit. You guys still got about 40 seconds to rest, and then we're gonna get into these lunges. Let's talk about that front rack position. When you guys have those kettlebells up there, again, with those elbows flared, we talked about that, but we almost feel like those knuckles are pointing up towards a little triangle right here, right? Almost create a triangle between those hands and those elbows. No flaring, and don't let those wrists collapse outward. You have to have a nice, strong, neutral wrist here, all right? So, 10 more seconds to breathe, and we're getting right back to that front rack position. Nice and strong here, whichever leg you guys wanna start with. So, here we go. Weights at the chest, set two. Same thing, in three, two, let's go. Front rack position, nice and strong. Let's work it. One, two, three. Keep that core braced. Good, four, five. Keep this up. Good, last two. That's it. Last one. And let's switch right into that opposite leg. Let's go. Good, brace that core. Drive it out, two. Get down there and work. Three, get as low as you can. Four, come on, keep this up. Five, six, seven, last one. And good, weights down right in front of you. Take one quick breath and let's get right into those bent over rows. So, Weights out in front. I like having a narrow stance on these. Hinge over, right? My back is slightly extended. Rip those dumbbells, ready? Eight reps. Two, three, every rep, put those kettlebells down. Good, four, come on. Five, keep this up. Six, seven, one more, work that upper back. And eight, good job. Full minute to rest. We got one more round. So that challenge there in the set, yes, we're working our legs, but that upper back is a big challenge after that front rack position, holding it strong with all that weight in front. Now you gotta get down there and work that upper back in those rows. So keep those elbows slightly flared on those rows. Don't keep them too tight. We wanna get kind of our mid back here, 
a little bit of that upper back. So give me a little bit more elbow out and get that mid back fired up, right? So still got a little more time to breathe. Nice deep breath in through your nose, exhale through your mouth. One more round. If you guys have dumbbells at home too, just hold them right up at the chest in that front rack position. And same thing with the bent over rows. You might not be able to pause on the floor, but you could at least get in that hinge position and rip those rows. So last one on these lunges. One more good breath. Front rack position strong. Let's do it. Let's finish this set. Three, two, one. Let's go guys. Straight up, strong front rack, rip it. That's it. Good. Three, four, five. Bracing that core. Inhale, hold that breath. Six, seven, last one. And good, switch sides all the way. Keep working at your own pace. If I'm going a little too fast or a little too slow, control your pace. We're not sprinting through this, but we also don't want to go super, super slow. Give me some good normal pace here and let's work through it. Last one. And good, down, breathe. One inhale, stand up tall, release that back a little bit. Let's get these bent over rows in, let's go. Get yourself set in three, two, hinge over, upper back. Remember, flare the elbows, eight reps, go for it. That's it, come on. Last two, one more, and down. Great set guys, another minute to rest and we'll get into that next circuit. All right, everybody, we're getting into our next circuit here. We have three movements in this last strength circuit. We're starting with split stance RDLs. So we're gonna go split stance position right here and we're gonna be holding one kettlebell with both hands hinging at the hips. Very deep hinge, we're working that front leg hamstring. We're gonna go eight each side. Then we're gonna go single arm push press with that kettlebell. So we're gonna go one arm each arm, eight reps each side. And then we're gonna get on the ground for a hollow hold, okay? So a little bit of core in there to finish that set. So let's get right into this. We're gonna start with that split stance RDL. Let's grab your weight. I'm gonna start with a 60 here. I'm gonna go left leg back, right leg forward, and hinge my hips. Let's start, eight reps in three, two, stand up tall, let's go. Push that butt back. You can tap the ground or get close to it. Eight reps and we'll switch. Good, control that weight, push that butt back. You're gonna feel that big stretch on that front hamstring. Let's work it. Good, that's it. Last couple reps and we're gonna switch sides. And good, switch legs. So I got my right leg back, heels up off the ground, pushing that butt back, hinging at the hips. One, two, good. Three, control that weight, let's go. Four, good. Five, continue that hinge. Six, last two. Seven, one more. And good, put that kettlebell down. Let's get to these push presses. Eight reps each shot. Get that kettlebell in that front rack position. So we're going right here. Front rack, just like we did earlier. A little bit of a bend in the knee, and then punch that kettlebell. Dip and go, eight reps. That's it, three, come on. Four, drive that weight up. Five, front rack, push, six, seven, last one. Good, get it back down into that front rack, switch sides, go to that left arm, ready? Dip, punch it, eight reps, three, come on, four, dip and drive, five, six, last two, seven, one more, and good. Put that arm down, lay on the ground now, hollow position. I need you to grab a kettlebell that you can bring behind your head. We're gonna do 15 arm extensions in this hollow position. So here we go. We're gonna go kettlebell up, knees up in the air, head and chest up. We're gonna get the legs out and now we're going 15 reps. Arm extensions, one, keeping that lower back in the ground. Two, good, three, control it back and go. Four, perfect, come on, five. Stay with me here, let's go, six, Stay under control here, keep that lower back in. Good, let's get those 15 reps, keep it under control. Not too fast here. You guys are almost there, let's finish it up and you'll get a nice minute to rest. I got three more, come on, last couple reps. Good, finish strong, lower back tucked, one more rep, and good. Bring that weight down, got you guys for a minute on the rest. Let's breathe. So again, you guys can increase weight on any of those exercises. I want you to get those weights now. Still got about 40 seconds to rest and we'll get into this next round. So those push presses get tough. 
You guys really gotta use your legs to help you drive that weight up when you get to those. So get into your squat position, little bend in those knees, kind of slightly open them up so you sit back and punch that weight. That's gonna be, again, eight each arm all the way through this set. So last few seconds to breathe. Let's get back to that RDL set here, guys, okay? So I'm gonna stay with my 60 here. That weight felt good for me. We're gonna work it again. Again, increase if you can. Let's get this going. Eight reps each shot. Right leg back, here we go. In three, two, stand up tall. Let's do it, guys. Ooh, eight reps. Come on, second set here. Let's grind through it, and then all we got is one more set of strength work before we get to that conditioning. Come on, good. Perfect, let's switch shots. Right foot forward, left leg back, hinge those hips. Good. Push that butt back, continue to hinge. Don't get too squatty on me. Trust that hinge to take that chest forward and work that tough split stance position. Gotta keep that balance. Good, last one, finish it up. I said keep the balance, I'm losing my balance. There you go, last one, and good. Put that weight down, let's get to the push presses, let's go. Get that weight up on the shoulder. Front rack position, here we go, eight reps. We talked about it before. Dip, punch that arm up, come on. Here we go, three, four, use those legs. Five, six, come on, seven, last one. And good, front rack, down, right back to the left. Let's go, a little dip, punch it. Get those shoulders fired up, come on. Four, five, last few reps, work through it. Six, seven, last one, and good. On the ground, hollow position. Get a weight that you can handle, again, just like we did before in those arm extensions. I don't want you guys grabbing something too heavy that you can't bring too far back. I'd rather you go lighter and get more range of motion with that overhead extension. So head and chest up, lower back tucked, legs out, arms are the only thing moving. One, two, keep yourself under control, three, Try to match my pace. Four, good. Five, nice and smooth. Control that weight back. Six, keep that head and chest up. Seven, good. Eight, working hard here, guys. Stay with me, come on. Nine, guys are right there. Five to go, five to go. Legs out as far as you can. If you're struggling, you bring your knees in a little bit. That's your regression. If not, the legs are out the whole way. Last two, good, one more, and awesome. Bring that weight down, breathe. We got, again, another minute to rest. One round to go, everybody. Again, talked about it all day. If you guys can increase those weights, do it right now. Challenge yourself on that last set. If not, sit down, rest, get some water, and get ready to go. Hands on the hips, hands over your head, hands on your knees, whatever you want. Breathe it out, and we'll hit this last set. So we still got about 30, 40 seconds to rest. Control that heart rate, slow it down. We're still in our strength phase, so we don't want to jack it up too, too much. Try to control that breathing, and we'll get right into this last set on these RDLs. Again, guys, a lot of people screw these up with that hinge. Try not to bend too much and get squatty here. You wanna feel that upper chest come forward, feeling that front hamstring and glute slightly stretch and work. His back leg should be very light pressure. Most of your pressure is in that front leg, okay? So let's finish this strong. Grab that kettlebell, nice and tall. One more round, let's do it. Let's finish our strength circuit. In three, two, one, let's go. Here we go. One, two, that's it guys, come on. Four, you guys know the movements now? Just give me some good reps. Try to match that pace, nice and smooth, under control, and we're working hard. Last one, and we're gonna switch. Good, right leg back, left leg forward, whichever guys you are on, and let's go. Push that butt back, hinge those hips. I keep saying it, but it's just a constant reminder for you guys not to get too deep into a squat here. We're deadlifting, right? Good. You guys are right there, come on. Last few reps, and we'll finish those push presses. Ooh, we're sweating, we're working hard here, come on. Last one, push those hips back, and good. Weight down, let's grab that 35 overhead presses. Here we go, front rack position. Get it up on that front rack. Every rep, you get back to this front rack position. No flaring, here we go, ready? Dip, punch it, front rack every single time. Push, two, three, four, come on. Get down and drive it, five, six, seven, one more. Good, front rack, down, switch sides. 
every time you get back to that front rack. Come on, watch your shoulders. You need to stay in good quality positions. Three, four, five. Last little bit, and we're gonna get to that hollow hold. Come on, seven, one more. Good, put that weight down on the ground, guys. Let's finish that hollow hold. Come on, on the floor. Lay flat on your back, grab that kettlebell, nice and tall. Knees up, again, your regression is keeping the knees in. Ready, legs out, extend the arms. Match that pace. Good, five, come on. Six, stay with it, keep that upper back up. Seven, eight, good, nine. Come on, you guys are right there. 10, you got five more, finish strong. One, fight that rib cage from flaring up off the ground. Good, last few reps. Good, last two. Come on, bring it back. One more, and good. Awesome job. Great set, guys. Put that kettlebell down. Let's rest. It's time for conditioning. All right, everybody, this is where the fun starts. The strength is over. We're getting into our conditioning circuit. It's a six-minute EMOM. That's every minute on the minute. You're trying to complete three exercises before the minute ends. Your first exercise is double arm dual kettlebell swings. We're gonna be hinging at the hips, both kettlebells between the legs, and swinging. We're going 10 reps. Then we're grabbing both kettlebells, cleans on top of that front rack position we've been working on all day. Eight reps, and then we're gonna hold that front rack position, and you're gonna give me six squats. So 10 swings, eight cleans, six squats. It's a lot of work to do in under a minute. So give me your best effort. At the end of every minute, we're gonna repeat that round, okay? If you find yourself not finishing, you can cut the reps down slightly so you can get every single exercise in, all right? So let's get right into this and let's do it. Okay, guys, here we go. 10 kettlebell swings, double arm, ready? Let's go, 10 reps. Count your reps, let's get right into it. You gotta get these done quick so you guys can get to somewhat of a rest. So give me 10 good swings, double arm hinging and squeezing those glutes and then we're gonna go right to the cleans. So kettlebells in front, right up to the shoulders. Dip, front rack, eight reps. That's it. Get those eight in. Right when you're finished, you're gonna hold that front rack position. Six squats. Keep working, come on, let's go. And then down. Right now, on my clock, we have 16 seconds to rest. If you're done, breathe, and then we're gonna get ready for the second round. If you're still working, you gotta really push it. Get those squats in, get them over with. There's only five seconds to go. We're gonna get right back to the swings in three, Two, one, here we go guys. 10 reps, hinge and drive. When you guys are using both arms, you need to trust those arms to go back and then get out in front a little bit. Don't overextend when you're tired. Get those arms out just a little. Wherever that energy from your hips brings them, that's where I want them. Right when you're finished, get to the cleans. Eight reps, dip right into that front rack position. Just like we worked on all day. No flaring, no flicking on the shoulder. Dip, pull straight up the body and they should fold right into that front rack. And when you're done, you know the deal. Six squats, let's go. Down and go, come on. Get those reps in. That's it, come on. Push strong, finish them up. When you're down, put the weights down and breathe. 15 seconds left, catch that breath. If you're resting, if you're still working, like I said, if you're not finishing that set, give me maybe eight, six, and four on the reps as opposed to 10, eight, six. Five seconds to go, four, Rounds left. Let's get this one and we're halfway through. Ready? Let's go. Swing it. Keep working. Let's go. Get locked in. Let's finish strong. Get to those cleans. Hands on the side, right between. Dip it. Keep breathing. Let's go. Come on. Get those reps and then get right to that front rack position. Give me those squats. Bang them out, six reps. And then down. Bring those kettlebells down. Breathe, I got 20 seconds right now. Catch that breath. Put your hands here. Get some air in. Put your hands over your head. Wherever you're comfortable, sit down on the floor. I don't care. Get that rest in, three rounds to go. Get ready to go back to those swings. Get yourself set up. Let's do this thing, guys. Strong reps. Round four, three, two, one. Swing it. Let's go. 
three rounds to go. Finish this, and all you guys have left is two. You gotta squeeze those glutes, come on. Pop those hips, get them up there. When you guys get to those cleans, again, you're gonna get tired. You can't flick them out in front of you and bang them on the shoulders. You pull straight up in front of the body. Get it in that front rack position, just like we talked about all day. Right here, right? Right in that pocket, right into that shoulder. Lightly in there, do not flick and bang those shoulders. Get those reps in, right here, right? Right into that front rack. When you're done, get to those squats. You guys are working hard, let's go. When you get to those squats, that upper back is gonna be fatigued. You're gonna wanna fall forward, fight those kettlebells. Chest up tall, sit back and squat. Trust that chest not to fall forward with all that weight there. There's five seconds left, two more rounds. Come on guys, you got this, ready? Three, two, one, let's go. Back and go. Come on, stay with me. Get to those cleans, let's go, come on. Eight reps, right up into that front rack. Comfortable, smooth, get into that position. Don't flick those shoulders. Get that kettlebell front rack, squat it out, let's go. Woo, we got one round left. I am fading here. I'm doing my best to talk to you guys. You got this, 15 seconds. Woo, catch that breath one more time, guys. We got this, 10 seconds on the clock. Give me one more tough round. Let's finish this workout strong. Let's go, five seconds, one more time. Come on, grab those weights in three, two, one. Swing it, guys. Come on, that's it. Dip and go. Get that hinge in. Don't get tired and squat on me. Hinge and drive. That's it. You guys are right there. Come on, hinge at those hips. Squeeze those glutes. Get to those cleans. Right between the legs. Straight up. One, two, three. Come on, get those reps in. Four, five, six, seven, one more. Front rack position, let's go. Six reps, come on. Finish strong. Last two for me, come on. One more. Weights down, 15 seconds. Finish this thing. You guys are right there. You worked hard. Give me those last few reps if you're still working. 10 seconds. Finish strong, get those reps in, come on. You guys got five, four, three, two, one. Whoo, and down. Put those kettlebells down, you guys are done. All right, everybody, that is it. I hope you guys enjoyed that workout. That kettlebell workout got tough real fast with that EMOP. But again, hope you enjoyed the strength portion and that conditioning. Let me know what you guys thought in the comments and leave anything that you want below. If you guys want any specific workouts, I'd be happy to bring them to you guys. And remember, like, subscribe, and turn those notifications on for me. I'd really appreciate it. I'll see you guys in the next workout and great job today.